Hey guys, so when you buy the Insta360 R1 one inch edition, there is this extra accessory you can buy with it uh, for connecting an external microphone. So you put this into the USB C jack, and then you have like a typical three and a, three and a half millimeter uh, microphone jack. And when I did bought this, I was incredibly, incredibly disappointed. I mean, on the one hand, it I think it cost me like $35 uh, New Zealand dollars, which is still way less than uh, the adapter you can buy for GoPro, which costs the 99 New Zealand dollars. So I, I wouldn't compare it. Uh, it would be an unfair comparison to compare it with that. But $35 is still $35. I was uh, kind of pissed off at that. And also I bought specifically bought this microphone for using with this. This is the Rode, uh, man, it doesn't actually say. I think it was called the Video Mic or something like that. And the reason, even though I already have this microphone, but because it's such a wide lens on uh, the, this one, it means that if you put a long microphone like this on it, you're obviously gonna see it in frame. So I figured I'll buy a really short microphone. And even then I took some scissors and I cut off some of this fur so that that wouldn't be in frame. And the reason I was very disappointed <laughs> was because uh, yeah, the result was absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. So honestly, I'm not even making this <laughs> video really for YouTube, I'm making it for myself because I want to do one more test. I want to make sure, did I did I get that right? Because uh, the audio was just so terrible that, uh, that, I, that it almost makes me question my test case. And secondly, because I, uh, what I, I, I went out in the field with this thing, the result I got was absolutely terrible. And then I made a little quick video where I compared this thing with this one, uh, also awful. But what I one thing I haven't done yet is I haven't used this one. So this is a uh, lapel mic. Now, one thing to keep in mind is all of these microphones do have electricity. So uh, these are both like nine volt batteries. So I were warned when you buy this thing that you can't, you can't expect this to drive, I guess you would call it a passive microphone. Uh, you, would, you would need something that, uh, that uses electricity to kind of amplify the signal. So that's why I thought these things would work. Uh, they don't, but uh, this is also like an active microphone because uh, you do actually put a button battery in this thing. Although my expectations are pretty low, but I feel like it's worth a test. I would like to do some vlogging and that would be great to, uh, to be able to vlog into this thing straight away. Now you may see I do have a zoom. So what you might think is, well, you can vlog uh, the video on this thing while you put this in your pocket and uh, record the audio. And that's probably what I will be doing. That's actually why I bought this thing. But it is really annoying. Because when I vlog, I want to improvise. So that might mean that I, I might talk for a while and then I want to turn off the camera and maybe just think for 10 minutes while I'm walking, while I'm walking Ted and then turn on the camera again. So if I, if I take that kind of pause all the time, it will mean that I will have to resynchronize these two things every time I have a new thought popping into my mind. So it would be amazing if I could connect this straight to this. And it, it does have a really long cable. So I could, even if I'm holding this at a quite far distance, I could pull the cable all the way down the selfie stick uh, and uh, well, attach it to my shirt. So that would be amazing. I, I don't have those expectations, but it, it would be so amazing that I feel like it's worth one more try I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it one more chance, and also I'm gonna connect it straight to this thing, and that way we know if if I if I do get terrible ex uh, results, which I'm expecting, can't be 100% sure. Is it just because this is a cheap mic, or is it because of uh, the mic adapter being terrible? So that's why I figured we'll also connect it to the Zoom, and we can compare it that way. So yeah, let's just begin. 
So, and it seems I have no battery. Well, that's just great. So this is actually a common problem I have with this camera is that uh, many times I don't feel like I understand if I've turned it off or not. I guess I'll just have to have it plugged in for this t test. So anyway, let's get started here. So I'll start with this stereo mic, the Rode stereo mic. And I'll put it to plus 20 dB because it was very quiet when I used it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I just realized I cannot. Of course, it's uh, through the USB, so I cannot be charging it while I use this with the USB. All right, I finally found that I have an extra battery, but uh, it turned out actually to be completely empty. I, I thought usually when you buy extra batteries, they say that they come empty, but then when you actually plug them in, they usually do have power. So, but no, 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 this one was completely empty, so. I guess that won't. That's not gonna help me. Uh, but I have been charging this for 20 minutes now, so should uh, be good soon. So I'll begin by doing the recording on my Zoom for a comparison. Okay, time to record. Testing one, two, three. This is the lapel mic on a Zoom H1N. Testing one, two, three. Subscribe to my channel, blah, blah, blah. Testing one, two, three. This is also on the Zoom, but this is the Rode, uh, uh, the, the mono Rode microphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is the uh, Rode uh, stereo video mic on the Zoom. Testing one, two, three. Here we go. And now I guess we'll just do the same on this thing. Testing one, two, three. This is the lapel microphone on the uh, Insta360. Testing one, two, three. Still on the Insta360, but now I connected the Rode uh, mono uh, shotgun mic. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is still on the Insta360, but this time it's the Rode stereo microphone. This thing is kind of annoying because it doesn't tell you that you have it on or off. Because it says like, well, it, it does kind of, but there's no, there's no light that lights up. So you wouldn't really see this and think, oh, this is something I need to turn off after use. So I actually did have it on, I guess, which consumed the entire battery. Uh, so that's why yesterday when I was trying to do this test, it did not work. But uh, now I just bought a brand new battery, so that should be noted in this test, that this one does have brand new batteries. So if, it, if it's still terrible, we know that's not the problem. And also, I just realized that for comparison's sake, I should make one with uh, just the in built-in microphone. Testing one, two, three. This is using the Insta360 without an external microphone, which uh, I'm not expecting to be very good, but uh, for, com for the sake of comparison.